Pittsburgh, an historic day in Connecticut as Governor Daniel Malloy signs into law some of the country's tightest gun restrictions. The measure adds more than 100 firearms to the state's assault weapons ban and outlaws the sale of large capacity magazines. News 8's Bob Wilson live in Hartford tonight. He talked with some neighbors but with some strong opinions on today's developments. Bob? You know, uh, the governor has had a really long day. I mean, he was monitoring all day yesterday the Senate and the House as they passed in the early morning hours. He was up this morning, and he went and signed that historic bill into law. And then he took off to Manchester this evening where he held a town hall-style meeting, and he listened to people go on. The main topic, gun control. Governor Daniel P. Malloy signed the big bill that places Connecticut at the top of the list as one of the most restrictive gun states in America. We can never undo the senseless tragedy that took place on December 14th or those tragedies that play themselves out on a daily basis in our cities. But we can take action here in Connecticut. The governor, after signing it into law, came here a couple hours later to the Lincoln Center. He was holding a town form style meeting. That way he could listen to the response and hear the people about the new gun law. I don't want to have to go to church, to the mall, to the theater, to a baseball game, to take a course at MCC and worry that somebody's going to shoot me. So thank you, Dr. Governor Malloy. The governor listened and answered questions, and because it was standing room only, there wasn't enough time to hear all of the questions, so the gun control issue continued out in the parking lot. Why he felt the need to push this through so quickly and why they didn't split the bill up. There are lots of things that everyone could agree on, the mental health, the school safety, and even most of the gun proposals. I agree with some of the, like the mental health and the background checks and everything. I don't see the difference between uh, high capacity mag limitations. I mean, criminals aren't going to follow the law. They don't already. I haven't heard anything at all about looking at um, Adam at all or his family in that way. I hear mental illness, mental illness, but um, I think we need to look into it further. And that is on the agenda. That is the next thing they're going to do. The commission is going to get together and work on mental illness. I'm Bob Wills reporting live in Hartford, News 8.